All right, so you guys want to make sure you follow in my footsteps, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get to the abandoned workshop. And I just want to tell you guys, you want to make sure you really, really do follow in my footsteps because this part's really, really tricky, and we're going to get to it in a bit. I'll tell you when. Now, you just want to run past by these enemies right here, the one that shoots you, and the guy right now that runs up to you with the sword. You want to go to the right of the tower and you're going to fall down to the small gap. Also you want to make sure you have a lot of health because if you don't, even though you fall a short distance, we all know how Souls games, like when you fall you take a lot of damage, fall damage or whatever you want to call it. Okay so we could either try to jump, you see those ropes right there, we could jump and roll over there or we could jump on the edge on the platforms underneath this platform right here in the front of you but you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and try something different I'm gonna actually try to jump and roll by the ropes see if I don't fall I don't fall oh damn I was powered all right so I'm gonna go ahead and try it and I made it all right, you want to make sure you heal. All you have to do is simply just fall down to the right. And there we go, the abandoned old workshop. As you can see, we got the doll hat, doll clothes. Wow, it's pretty much the. Wow, you guys get it. Alright, so part of the cord should be right here in the desk. Umbilical cord. There you go. Old hunter bone, I'm really not sure. Here, hold on. I'm gonna show you guys what these items do. Alright, so that's pretty much it, you guys. Um, thanks for watching, and I hope I helped you guys out. And I'm out.